percent. Well, we asked, we've asked both of them to come on our show, mm -hmm. and the one who accepted our invitation is the Republican, Karen Handel. Congratulations. Uh, I, after, you're now going to the, to the runoff. How did you feel last night when these results were coming in? Great. It was very exciting, um, very enthusiastic. The Republicans were all going to come together so we can make sure this seat stays in the hands of a Republican. Okay. Uh, we know that yesterday um, Donald Trump hit with a furious counterattack. He did a robocall for you. He put out a couple of tweets. And this morning, if you will allow me, uh, you actually tweeted back to the president. You said, thank you, Donald Trump, for the call this morning. Hashtag yes. uh, GA6, Georgia 6. How, how important was it to have Donald Trump help you yesterday? You know, it was really important <clears throat> as we come into the final um, hours yesterday of voting for there start to be some coalescing around a candidate, and that happened, and I was very grateful for that push. It got a lot of Republicans to the polls so that people really understood what was at stake. Well, and Karen, it's interesting because last night your opponent made it sound like he already won. Listen to this. I know it has been a long evening, and it looks like... It looks like it may be a longer one. But let me tell you this. There is no doubt that this is already a victory for the ages. We will be ready to fight on and win in June if it is necessary. And there is no amount of dark money, super PAC, negative advertising that can overcome real grassroots energy like this. This is not a story about me. This is a story about this community at this moment in history. This is a story about women in this community. Oh, Karen. What does he know about women in that community? You are a woman who lives in that community. He doesn't even live in the district. I was just going to say, what does he even know about the community in the district? Because <laughs> he doesn't vote here. Doesn't even vote here. So, Karen, as you look toward the runoff, how do you unite the Republicans? Because there were 11 different Republicans running in this uh, primary yesterday, 18 candidates in all. He wound up with close to 50 percent. He was almost there. You wound up with 20. But how do you unite the Republicans so you can win? You know, that's already started. I've talked to most of the other uh, 11, 10 Republicans last night or this morning. So we all know what's at stake, and we understand that this district has a long legacy of Republican leadership from Secretary Tom Price to Senator uh, Johnny Isaacson, uh, former Speaker Newt Gingrich. So we know that what's at stake here is bigger than any one person, and we will unite. And this seat will be held in the hands of a Republican come June 20th. Karen, what about the fact that the Democratic candidate had eight million dollars pour in a large majority of it from outside the district of course a lot from hollywood endorsements and money but he's accusing you of accepting quote unquote dirty money dark money dark i money, thought that was party. kind of ironic <laughs> that was ironic in his uh, comments there. Look, 95% of John Ossoff's funds came from outside of the state of Georgia, the vast majority of it from California, New York, Massachusetts. <clears throat> he is not an individual from this district, um, aligned with this district, and I am absolutely confident that as we go to the voters and show the vast contrast between this young, inexperienced individual compared to the track record and the public service and the results Results that I've given to the sixth district, I will prevail. You have to, you have to hand it to the Democrats for putting all their money behind one candidate, whereas you had to divide, or the votes were divided among the Republican Party, <clears throat> among 11 of you guys. But now it is down to two people: one Republican and one Democrat, which is a fair race. What's the difference between you, if your constituents are watching, you and your running, or um, the Democrat John Ossoff? We have very different values, very different life experiences, and very, very different experience. I have a track record, a proven track record, of getting things done for the people of the 6th District as a former county commission chairman, as former secretary of state. Um, I have life experiences where I've had to overcome real adversity, and that helps you grow as a person, make you stronger and resilient. And I am ready to take on this challenge and show the contrast between the two of us, and I am absolutely confident that the people of the 6th district want a strong, independent-minded conservative as their next congressman. Well, I'm sure you were watching television yesterday, and uh, mainstream media pretty much made it seem like this was the 
single most important election of our lifetime <laughs> that uh, the Democrats should get over 50 percent because they felt like it was would be a referendum on Donald Trump, who won in November as president of the United States. And now a couple of months later, people are having buyer's remorse. What do you make of that narrative that your election was a referendum on the current president? You know, I think that the press and the Democrats and mainstream media really wanted it to be about that. But for the people of the 6th District, it has always been about who will be best served and who has the values aligned with the 6th District to serve them most effectively in Congress as their next congressman. Well, Karen, uh, the media, a lot of Democrats got the election wrong last November. They seem to have maybe called mm -hmm. this race wrong. What did the president say to you this morning? Steve mentioned your tweet. You thanked him for the phone call. What did he say? And do you want the president to come visit the district? The president was beyond gracious and encouraging, and I appreciated it so much. And um, he specifically talked about strength under pressure, and I, I was grateful for that as well. As we come into June 20th over the next two months, we need every single Republican we can get, including the president, to mm. be coalesced and united as we come into uh, fighting what's going to be. It will be a tough race because the Democrats are going to pour so much money. Now, it won't be from Georgia. It's going to be, again, from all around the country, but at least this time for Republicans, we're united and all of us will be together mm -hmm. to keep this seat. Karen, real quickly, just for reference, for those folks who aren't familiar with Georgia, what cities are in the 6th dis District? We have Sandy Springs, my hometown of Roswell, Johns Creek, Alpharetta, Dunwoody, Brookhaven, Shambly, Milton, uh, Tucker, and Brookhaven. All right. All right. Very and good. And East Cobb. Next stop, the runoff. All right, uh, Karen Handel, the Republican winner from last night. She'll square off against John Ossoff in June. Karen, thank you very much thank for joining us live. Thanks Appreciate for accepting it. Thanks our so much. Appreciate it. Thank all right, you. All right.